Shepton inside the 45 from out the wing. What a majestic point! The point of the game so far. Miholomer Herthig was born in the family home in Dun Sheen, just outside Dingle, County Kerry, on August 20th, 1930. One of eight children born to his mother, Katie Quinn, and his father, Teddy Moriarty. Eighteen years later, he began the final year of his teacher training at St. Patrick's College of Education in Drumcondra in Dublin. The big attraction, of course, of being in Pats was, was Crow Park principally. It was the, nearly the first place we went. That was the Mecca. And I don't think we were a full week there when we saw the first All-Ireland final I ever saw. Mayo against Cavan in 1948. In early March 1949, Michal, along with 10 other students from the college, did an audition on a hurling game in Croke Park for Radio Erin. Kerryman had never seen a game of hurling before in his life, but he was the one selected. His first assignment was to provide an all-Irish commentary on the 1949 Railway Cup final on St. Patrick's Day. He graduated from St. Patrick's College a little later and also completed an arts degree from UCD. He taught economics, accountancy and Irish in both primary and secondary schools throughout Dublin until the 1980s when he became a full-time broadcaster with RTE. The game is on, the ball thrown in by Patrick Kelly. Cork playing down toward the railway goal in the first half in the ball. Nobody got it into the hand yet. Picked up by Jerry O'Connor and the first test of Henry of the centre-back John Tennyson. In 1970, he married Helena McDowell and together they had eight children. His beautiful accent, his unique turn of phrase and ability to paint pictures with words captured the minds and hearts of his listeners, the people of Ireland and abroad. Well, there's a, a streaker on the ground. Now he must be a Kilkenny man because he's quite happy with the situation. I'm sitting between two very privileged people, joint owners of Druid's Jono, Patsy Borden from Dua and His Royal Highness Prince Edward. I think, Prince, your reaction to that great run by the favourite? <laughs> well, it was great. No, it was great. Uh, it was well worth uh, coming here and, and to see that. Away from the microphone, he trained the Kerry footballers based in Dublin for Mick O'Dwyer during the 1970s and 80s. Footballers from other counties also benefited from his coaching skills. It's all about six razzle-dazzle, Riga. He's going to win the laurels for me, Oliver. His love of greyhound racing was well known, and while he often called a race live on RT Radio, he was also a proud owner of an Irish laurels winner. His journey in broadcasting earned him a place in the Guinness Book of Records for having the longest career as a live match commentator. Michal was a special man with a special broadcasting talent. Today, Michal Merherthig died, but the magic of his voice and the memories he gave us will mean in our minds he will live forever. Karev Milamahagat, Michal. Once an All-Ireland final is over, especially the last one of the year, it's like closing in something but you're already looking forward to the resurrection. And like the flowers that grow after the flowers dying with the frost of the winter, the new ones will come if you're lucky enough to be around for them.